Hey, we have here today an algebra problem. We've got a little system of equations. We're given that x squared minus y squared equals three, x times y equals five, and we're asked to solve for x plus y. And notice we're not asked to solve for x and y individually. We just need this x plus y value. So what I'm gonna to do to start is I'm gonna focus on this first equation. I'm gonna take this and use the fact that this is just a difference of two squares. So I can take this and write this as x plus y times x minus y equals three. I'm just going to label these. I'm going to call this x plus y equal a. I'm going to call this x minus y equal to b. And then we'll just notice a is the thing we want to solve for. And I'm going to take this and let's just square this and see what happens. So if I look for my a squared, this is going to give me x squared plus y squared, just multiplying this out. And then we're going to have 2xy. Well, we know what xy is. We're given that right here. So that's 5. So this is going to be the same thing as x squared plus y squared plus 2 times 5 or 10. And I think I'm gonna create just one more label. We'll, we'll call x squared plus y squared equal to c. So I'm just gonna keep that right here as another variable. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is the exact same thing with our b. So I'm gonna square b squared, and that's gonna give me x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. But again, we'll call this c. So this is gonna be c minus 10. And again, this is c plus 10. Well, if I take these two expressions and multiply them together, we're gonna to have a squared times b squared, or I can write this as a b all squared. And knowing that these are equal to c plus 10 and c minus 10, I can multiply this together over here, c plus 10 times c minus 10. And this is going to give me c squared minus 100. But we know the value of a b because that's just our original expression, or that's this 3. So if this is 3, if a b is 3 and we square it, then this is going to be equal to 9. Well, then I can add 100 on both sides, and we're going to see that c squared equals 109, or c is going to be equal to plus or minus square root of 109. Just noticing that both these terms are squared, c is going to always be positive, so we can remove the plus or minus here and just say that this is going to be the positive square root of 109. Then from here what I want to do is just go back and recall our goal. We just wanted to find x plus y, and that's the same as our a value right here. And this isn't too bad at all, because we have a value for a squared, and we have a value for c now. So we can kind of update our value here for a squared and write this as square root of 109 plus 10. But if I take a square root on both sides of this, I just get back to a. So I'll put a square root around this value over here. So we'll have the square root of the square root of 109 plus 10. But taking the square root here, we do need the plus or minus on this. And just notice it's basically the same thing if they asked for x minus y, that's our b value. And so if we needed that, let's just get that while we're at it, even though they don't ask for it. So for our b value, we'd end up with plus or minus square root of 109 minus 10. I, I erased it, but the b square value was c minus 10. So that would give us this. And with this, you could actually get an x and y answer pretty easily. It's just going to be like a decimal answer. So anyway, that's our solution. We're just going to have plus or minus square root of square root 109 plus 10. And that's it. Thanks everyone for watching today. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.